happy with my new batteries. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I've been up and had two cups of coffee. So Joel's out here making these these pieces here for uh, move a couple of them out, out of the shadows. You can see them. Making these pieces tie on into some beams up there where some walls are going to be. And I've got them over here. They built it up too high here. Even after I told them don't do that, they did it anyway. And uh, all the water will drain back towards the house. So I've got them over here scraping off the top to get it over where I told them to put it to start with. You know, spend your money twice for the same dirt. The smell in here is so nice. Cause you can smell all this bamboo. And it rained just a little bit last night, which kind of brings out the smell of it. I just love the smell of that bamboo. Um. I might do it. I need to cut that tube and move it out of the way in here. Huh? So I got to get this pressure tank here out of the way. He's trying to build the forms for the ceiling, the slab here inside this uh, guest CR. And my temporary tube here for testing out the PPR is in the way. The whole tank really is. We need to move it out of here. Just move some of that bamboo down here. Delivery is here from Northern Elo, Elo Lumber and Hardware. <laughs> y'all hear me clearing my throat and kind of <laughs> coughing up <laughs> right when they showed up i just took a big old chew of some of that thick meated coconut and i was chewing it up and uh they showed up here and I need to get my shirt back on. I took it off for a minute because I was sweating. And uh, man, I was trying to hurry because I wanted a video of them showing up here. <laughs> I swallowed wrong and I got some of that, that coconut in my windpipe. And then I coughed and it went up my sinuses too. And so man, lo and behold, I was just choking and snorting and blowing. My goodness. Here, hold on. Let's get this set up right here. This is what I'll be mounting my solar panels on right here, forming a canopy. Right up there like where you see that beam out, and then there's another beam out right there, those cantilever beams. That was quicker than FLS. Yeah. I guess you really wanted some coconut. Boy, I feel like I'm back home in Texas with all that that sea pearl in here. Oh. Boss, Boss. Maybe y'all can take those up there and, and enjoy them. I'm just cooking some tanigi here. It's nice, ain't it? Look at that. Tell me that ain't nice right there. That's how we like to cook outdoors like this. Somebody wrote in the comments about, are we building her a dirty kitchen? I can always tell my newer viewers compared to my longtime viewers because the longtime viewers already know that information. So I sometimes I'd stop and catch up on the newer viewers and subscribers, uh, information that they don't know because they just came into the channel. 
but uh, we very seldom cook inside. Maybe late in the evening, sometimes we might cook something inside. I'd say probably 80% of our cooking is done outdoors here. Boy, is that beautiful or what? Look at that. I'm gonna reference size there, how big it is. There's a Coke bottle. Yeah, that is nice. Good eating right there. There you go, Tulane. Put these up there by that rope. Whew. Bet you are super tired. Where's your partner go? Where's your partner? Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, you need me to sign? Sign. Uh, let me see if I can find a pen. Well, I'm here in City Hardware picking up a few things, and uh, one of you subscribers had noticed back in the corner here uh, some little Weber style grills. They're not actually Weber brand, they're like Riker or something. Now, these are small. These are not like the big American size. The dimensions are way smaller. And I'll give you a, a look here at it. Um, maybe I can get that lid off. I don't know if that's just a paint or a good enamel coating, but this is not a real large grill. Uh, 47 centimeters is what it shows right there. And they give you an idea right there on price. 2950 um, you know it's pretty basic long time old design it's been around um, but there's that right there these are rocker brand now they got some little bitty barbecue grills here some little jobs you got your little handles for lifting it up here and all see here for basically about twenty dollars about twenty bucks for that little portable job right there you can even take and flip your little handles out right here like I say this is just a little portable job and you can even hang the basket let me see if I can do this one-handed the I say the basket the the grill you even got hots you can set it at see here on this little back piece uh, it's got three different hots plus all the way down that's a little portable little twenty dollar job then they got a little small portable one right here also uh Riker, little small one you see set up and i mean it's not bad you know if you just gonna cook something small and simple and then they got some really little ones here also with different heights to it though which is pretty cool but i mean there's nothing real fancy about these they are the basic of basic now they do have these now actually i'm about to about to buy one of these right now i absolutely love these for getting charcoal going yeah i don't know if they got any others besides that on display they probably want to get one down uh, but i'm gonna buy one of these we love using this us melinda fell in love with it she's been saying she wanted us to have one here don't know how long it'll last near that salt probably have to get her to put it away over time if i can they are selling charcoal briquettes as well. So they do have charcoal briquettes. Uh, let's see, that'd be one, about $2.50 for this little bag. I mean, I guess that's not a whole lot different than uh, the price back home in the U.S. now, you know. What does it say? 4.4 pounds. Yeah, they'd be at 100, it would be two bucks. You know, basically, we're just rounding here. 25 is another uh, half of a dollar. So, $2.50 for a little bag of charcoal briquettes, American style, not the local charcoal, not the Uling. So, uh, so there you go on that. I was trying to see what it says these are made out of. Because it actually shows a coconut shell there on the outside. That's interesting. A little information on them. If you want to know a little bit about it. Product of the Philippines. Interesting. Somebody's getting enterprising and 
smart on that that's that's pretty cool yeah and please don't use gasoline to light it <laughs> uh, if you got one of these all you need is just a little bit of scrap paper or even a little bit of uh, some of the peelings off of coconut or anything you can get it going underneath here and the way it drives it'll really get that charcoal going but that's pretty cool right there that's pretty cool they got little small bags they get a little white grill here and a red one as well all the same price then they got these like local made ones here uh, 5,355 as you see it's got a stainless steel grate on top uh, a little basket on the side for putting things this is uh, made looks like out of like GI pipe and then it's got a little uh, removable pan here you can set it out I'm one handed right now so uh, can't set it out but it doesn't have any place to get air or nothing underneath but you could put your charcoal in there and get it going and there's no adjustment this is just the only height hinges down uh, so there you go on that one right there you're gonna be looking at well you know what hundred and ten dollars or something like that for this this one here with the stand and all probably made out of what they call GI pot and stainless they got one just a little bit bigger than it right here a little longer uh, 6,460 pesos. There's some dimensions as you want it right there. There's some dimensions. Maybe that glare. There you go. And this is the medium if you want these dimensions. So you know what size you're working with. So I'm here right now just to get a small water hose. Yeah, just a small water hose that I can uh, use to connect my power washer to and uh actually don't even care if it has an end on it i actually want to slip the end off you ever seen any where you can just buzz it off like that <laughs> yeah just a compression fitting don't have a normal end being that storm season is about to return I'm gonna go ahead and spend the money and buy some of these gabion cages and I tell you it's a it's a galvanized wire but I know probably the salt over time will still end up eating it down some but these things they're like 990 pesos each about $20 each it's something that still could always be removed pretty simple if you had to just remove the stone if you had to that storm surge it's a real deal happening along our coast and it's worth a little bit of investment man there you are in your your shrimp boots again okay okay melinda gump <laughs> uh, Boy, that must be water from heaven. Yes. See you pumping it there. <laughs>